Mom, am I adopted? Sorry, what? Am I adopted? Wow. Um, I just, I'm just wondering why. The, oh no, it, it, funny thing is because one, I don't grow as fast as everyone else. Secondly, I don't look exactly alike. Considering, no, I get that. It's just like it. It, it took you what fourteen years? What? I mean, you you never thought to ask me this question: why you don't have mandibles, or why your dreadlocks are somewhat, you know less responsive oh, I uh, I mean seriously oh well I actually did have some suspicions I just didn't think uh, it would be appropriate you know during training oh Oh, then in that case, yes, yes, you are adopted. I'm sorry? Yeah. Cool, um... Care to explain? Sure. You see, back when you were... Well, at least when I found you. If my scout ship crashed... Excuse me? Yeah, I was uh, up against, uh, you know, a uh, hunting party. Excuse me? Yeah. I mean, I told you the story before of how I did go to Earth, right? Yeah, but you keep changing the amount of bad blood you had to kill. Well, the full story is three. They shot me down, I crashed. Only thing is, there was a car speeding. What's a car? It's a human vehicle. And yeah, some people came out of it. They had guns, and I had to deal with the bad bloods. Luckily for me, Bad bloods killed them. What? What? What's the problem? You said luckily for you, the bad bloods killed them. That, those could have been my parents. Oh no, they were all men for some reason. I think they looked quite suspicious. Really? Yeah. If anything, I don't know how you ended up in their car, but luckily. For you, wait, but how did you how did you uh, come up with my name, Izuku? Oh, obviously. Heck, yeah, we had, they had your records. Are you sure they weren't my family? Oh, yes. If anything, oh yes, Earth has gotten more. Interesting over the years. It has a. Is, having guns? Doesn't seem to make much sense. Hmm. Okay. So the bad bloods killed them, and what? They're about to kill me? Oh no, by the time I got to you. Or at least in those uh, corpses. I did notice, sadly, yeah, crying. Oh. Yep. It was uh, interesting. And I had a choice to make. 
explain the fact that, uh, you know, speak to authorities why uh, uh, several people are dead and the child was left alive or, you know, take you with me? What? Yeah. At the very least, it was the best thing I could come up with. But I'm a human child. Yeah. You, you could just let me to the authorities, couldn't you? Hmm. Part of me was thinking that, then again. Okay, to be completely honest, I did try to leave you there. The problem was when I only noticed there was no one going down that particular street for like, um, worse hours. Okay, okay, days. No one came by that regular road or street for days. I mean, I left you in the car. What? Oh, calm down. I uh, took care of you. This is ridiculous. So you're saying I, I may have a family out there who thinks I'm dead? Mm, I say kidnapped. Well, technically you did. Hey, I did what I felt like was the best option. Seriously, all the tr training and that I went through, all of these scars and bruises I've accumulated. Yeah. Wait, but. Uh, but uh, I do have a question about these scars around my neck. But were they gonna kill me? Oh no, the Predator King did that. What? Oh yeah, when I decided to raise you as my own, I was technically indoctrinating you. Maybe so I'm responsible for you, for your training and everything. But first, you know, the Predator King has to A-OK -okay it. Well, she would have been... Mm, possibly killed or just sent back into that car. Killed? So this burned slash around my neck. Yep. I mean, you did cry and yell for a little bit, but then again, since the blade was very, was very hot, all you had to really worry about was the burning. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean. I didn't mean to curse. Yeah, better not forget who, who you're around. <sighs> but either either way, after the whole indoctrination type thing, uh, we uh, we want to wait before we try hibernizing you or full species conversion. What? Oh yeah, we can turn you into a full-blooded or half-blooded Yauja. You're kidding. No, it, it, it's actually quite easy. You, you won't believe how uh, incredible our technology is. Well, I guess you could believe it considering you've been here for all your life. <laughs> This is very 
crazy. It really is. <sighs> huh. Damn. I can't believe this. I... I really thought... What? Uh, nothing. Just... It's just crazy. It's, I, I, like I said, I always thought I was different, but... It's another thing to be a whole different species. Hmm. Well, how about this? We can hibernize you now. Really? Yeah. I think your body should be more than ready to actually endure it. But I think you can choose which traits you actually do want to keep from your human heritage okay that's gonna be a difficult decision to make why well hmm okay if anything I could if I could go with well, first of things first, I want these dreadlocks to actually work. Okay. Sounds simple enough. I am going to need more dense bones and muscle. Yeah, you are kind of short. Well, excuse me. Hell, I'm sorry I'm not eight foot tall. Don't worry. Females are usually taller anyway. Yeah, yeah, I know. Still, you, you gotta. I have to really consider a lot since I am finally gonna be. More like you. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Besides, I'm actually curious. Really? Like of what? Earth. Though I'm was born there, I wasn't raised there. I want to go home only to really see what was there at least or you know probably find my birth family you know hmm okay well first things first you right now you're you're unblooded or you can actually be trusted to go on individual or team hunts. You have to go through your rare passage, you know. The... Are you saying I gotta kill a Xenomorph? Yes, yes you do. Don't worry, I've seen your journals. You have done an extensive amount of research on those beasts, so you should be fine. Yeah, I've been researching on the best way to kill them. The only problem is when it comes to actually doing it. There's a difference between studying and actually doing it. You can... Do whatever little research you want on a certain topic, but the real experience of doing it yourself is hella different. <sighs> yeah, I know. Still, you got this. Do you trust me? Yes. I'll ignore the fact that you hesitated. 
But yeah, I have full faith in you that you will do great. And since you are... Yeah, let's see. Let's see. It was Japan where I found you. Wouldn't you be in the... Hmm. I think humans do mature, at least considered young adults, in their teen years? Hmm. Yeah. Okay. First things first. Do you want to be hybridized first, or do you want to... Hmm. You know what? Before we do that, while we uh, extract some of my DNA now, why? Because right now I'm thinking about finding my potential, you know, my birth family. Hmm. Fair enough. Really? Hopefully we do find them. And, and I hope they're accepting of you. Thanks. Alright. First things first, we get my DNA sample. Then uh, Trump, even though I was raised here, and yeah, even though I am seemingly more adept, it's still going to be different. Oh, there's no doubt. First things first, like I said, Organization or Xenomorph Hunt. Organization. What? Really? Yeah. Weird, I thought you would want to do the hunt first. Why? I mean, it'd be the quickest way to be able to go on your, your own, you know, without me. <laughs> Come on, I may be human, but I'm also Yoja. Mm, not yet, you're not. But I get what you mean. And yes, he's a good way. Upon going through his hybridization, Though not much really changes in to him physically, besides him being able to see body temperatures, as well as his hair and slash dreadlocks is more more sensitive to the point where he can never cut his hair ever. He's already. He knows what gear he can use, he knows the mission. Just kill one Xenomorph. That's all he has to do. Anything else would be unnecessary. But here's the issue. Yes, though the hunt will be on Earth. What makes it more challenging for Izuku is the fact that yeah, humans are there, and they uh, have to get impregnated by an omnivore. Or an ovomorph. Hmm. So yeah, Izuku has to allow them to give birth to the xenomorphs. And... Uh, which is even harder considering, yep, I'm human and I 
I am going to willingly let humans die for this. Because it is hunting party, yeah, it is technically with an older brother, brothers that he has to end up fighting and hunting with. Considering he is hybridized, he is taller, stronger, and everything. Only real problem is... Yeah, they already knew he wasn't a Yaoja. Which led to some teasing, some a little sibling rivalry, bullery, bullying type thing. And he's, a new, uh, he's become more independent compared to his brothers. You can imagine, the oldest, yeah. He, uh, he's the biggest and strongest. Well, the middle one, eh, yeah, pretty, uh, kind of has wanderlust. At the very least, is kind of airheaded, but has no problem following orders as long as the big brother is a part of it. So he's going to be the odd one out. He, of course, yeah, you guys do what you want. I'm going to have my own hunt. As soon as I do land, after suiting up, Izuku is very interested to actually see humans. Humans. If anything, all he's ever been able to really hunt, the, the prying eyes of his mom. Yeah, were pretty damn dangerous animals. And this was before the damn hibernization. So he always just starts wondering, like, okay, so how much better will I fare against these things? Now, so as you do land, you do notice some of these humans are armed. On one hand, he, he thinks, oh, these are going to make some good trophies. But trying to, you know, keep his eye he's on the prize, he's like, I won't do anything as long as they don't attack me. But here's the thing. Big Brother wants to show off. Yeah, <sighs> you can imagine. That went very wrong. He had to start killing all the humans with guns. Which, of course, wasn't too difficult. Is when orcs are involved. One of them has a handsmith where that actually puts them on par with the older brother. And another one has telekinesis. So, yeah. Carry brute strength your way out of this. Izuku is the only one... Who can actually think straight while also being fascinated because as far as he knew humans were weak as hell at least that's what he's been told but this this is something far more interesting to a point where he's good but he actually does be a human face to face He's hesitating when it comes to killing it, which of course ugh, is very detrimental when it comes to a hunt. He gets shot, but luckily for him, it barely even breaks the skin. And uh, you can just imagine how pissed you would be. You just wanted to watch. But someone shoots at you, mean to kill you. Fair is fair, and Izuku has no problem getting a, a new skull to add to the collection. Special skull, his first human skull. He does end up saving his brothers, but also ends up getting scolded. By that. What took you so long? course 
Yeah, he's a goon. Though he does love his brothers, he knows, like, you guys are just assholes for no good reason. I saved your asses. You're welcome. Is it too hard to say thank you? And then they go into the pyramid, shifting and everything. They do notice that their plasma casters are gone, which does explain why the pyramids are shifting. Of course, Izuku is pissed and wondering how are humans this stupid? Well, his brothers are just looking at him. So... Yes, well, of course humans are stupid. No, they can't leave things alone. They gotta study everything. Well, that's admirable, but seriously. They should have at least prepared better. And when it comes to the impregnation... That goes as planned. Only thing is, uh, yeah, there were seven Xenomorphs created at that party of ten. The others are either on the way to getting killed and or impregnated. So, Izuku <laughs> still wanted to be more independent. He said, you guys do what you want. I'm going to get my kill and get this over with. And he just disappears. Of course, the, his other two brothers are still one to be assholes. But also want to gloat saying how, yeah, they got <laughs> their kills first. The older brother... He sees the remaining humans. He also sees a Xenomorph ready to kill them. And he's contemplating whether, okay, we have seven Xenomorphs, but we just need one of them. I'm going to take on more than that. And he gets a Xenomorph kill. The only problem is, when he does get his kill, he is fully exposed the humans. You so say he killed two of them. Easy peasy. One thing is, yeah, he has to deal with the humans now. There are three of them. Him, okay. What should I do now? I got my kills. Should I just add a few more to the roster? This is sadly when he notices the uh, face hugger. Luckily, it's not close to him, but it is close to the other brother. You can imagine the shock on his face when he gets himself impregnated. And the humans do get to run away. Okay, but here's the problem. The impregnated Yauja is never a good thing. So, either let your brother die and get another kill a Perdalian abomination, which is even higher on the totem pole, or you uh, remove it. Yeah, let's just say uh, he'd rather let his brother die for glory. Zuru does end up meeting up with them again. When he notices it's just the older brother, he's wondering what happened. He got impregnated. Oh, okay. Then wait, then, then where is he? You still have time to remove it. <laughs> Why would I do that for? He's our brother. Why wouldn't you do that? Do you have an idea how rare it is to have a abomination kill on your belt? What? Yeah. What the hell? You you're on the 
I'd rather die just so I can get a, a more high brow kill. Um, yeah. Why not? Oh, you are a real piece of shit. Hey. I'm still the oldest. I'm the leader of this hunting party. Now, he has followed my orders. Unlike you, till now. So won't you just get the stick out of your ass? Kill your little xenomorph, whatever. And I'll kill the one that's gonna just jump out my brother's chest. Sounds good? No. No. It doesn't. <laughs> okay. So, what? Uh, Izuku socks him in the jaw. Though, yes, they are wearing their bio masks. It still hurts. Both of them. While the older brother just falls on his ass, Izuku runs in the direction that he came from. Him yelling at him, snarling, wondering, What are you doing? I'm going to save my brother. That's what I'm going to do. As soon as Izuku does get there, he notices that. Huh. These markings are interesting. He notices that there have been at least three, maybe four xenomorphs here. Since he doesn't see a body, he can only assume, like, oh man, they dragged him. What's the, what's the, what else can he do? He's gonna save his brother. Plasma caster or no plasma caster. But is, however, when he does notice something's off here, he actually catches a, a slight smell. Him turning around, he's completely unclothed, by the way. I mean, it makes no sense to stay clothed when it doesn't work against xenomorphs. Why would you be scared of humans? And yeah, he knows those, those three humans, uh, they were hiding. They didn't really get away. So, Izuku walks up to them and asks them, where did they take him? And you can just imagine, wait, wait, you can talk. Someone actually does speak out that way. No, this one's different. This one, this one isn't as big as the others. And saying that, yeah, Izuku doesn't have the scaly like skin. Just raising any more questions like, wait, are you human? And Izuku just like, Kind of, sort of. Please explain. Well, I'm half human. What? It's, just, it's, a, it's a real long story. As he's trying to explain, then he knows this is a slight noise. Him turns around and gets backhanded by a xenomorph and slams right against the wall. Of course, Xeomorph wants to take priority in uh, that one prey or at least three other cowering ones. Which one would be the quicker meal? And of course, they do. Damn, Xeomorph would want to go for three happy meals. Problem is... Yeah, it still has to deal with Izuku, and Izuku is not happy about being backhanded like a little bitch. So what he does end up doing... Is wrestling Xenomorph. He sends it through columns. He body slams it, suplexes it to a point where he does come face to face with it. When it tries to use its inner jaw to latch onto Yuzuku, he grabs it, rips it out, and stabs it into its head. 
Though, yes, he does get a little acid on his armor. He just takes it off and goes about his way. But not for getting a Xeomorph finger and marking himself. Showing them his face, which yes, he doesn't have mandibles here. If anything, it's only his eyes and hair that really show any kind of non-human difference. When they notice this, they... Wait, you look familiar. Impossible. You kind of look like... Mm, Inko Midoriya. Of course, Suzuku... Okay, I have no idea who that is. And of course, there's more questions. Like, how old are you? I'm 14. There's no way. Izuku? Yeah, uh, how do you know my name? I can't believe this, you're actually alive. I'm sorry. I. Uh, I, I have to go. Wait, 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 wait. Um, what about those things? Let's see. Dumbass older brother killed two and I killed one. Damn. That means at least four more. Oh, no, I gotta go. Him running off, not leaving the... Pretty much leaving them behind. And when it comes to that, Izuku, uh, yeah. he does get to the birthing chamber. Of course, when he's looking for his brother, he sees him, but he's unconscious. Izuku has to, well, uh, fuck it, three choices. Kill his brother. You know, mercy. And also, uh, he could also uh, let the Predalian be born. That's merciful. Or three. Remove it. And when it comes to three, of course he's going to do that. Well, the problem is he has two options. He can cut it out, or he can punch it out. Yeah, that's a that's one of the ways you can actually remove a xenomorph without surgery. Only well, problem is those things are stuck there when they're being born until they burst out. So you are going to have to extrude a lot of force to the point where yeah, you pretty much cough up your lungs. Imagine throwing up, but instead of just throwing up, you have this aching pain coming from your stomach or solar plexus. So after he does get his brother out, it does cause him to pretty much like, ah, you're going to thank me for us later. As it takes at least three punches. Fizuku using his full strength to get that fucker out. The reason why we can take three is though he is hibernized, he's not a full Yaoja. He doesn't get all the strength yet. Especially with him being so young. And <laughs> you can. You don't want to kill your brother by trying to save him. Luckily, it does wake him up. He sees that Izuku was there, wondering what what happened. Like you got him pregnant, you idiot. What? Yeah. Where's the chestburster? It's out. But 
I want to get you out of there before I worry about it. Is still around? Mm hmm. Now, I'm gonna need you to lock in. What? Why? I didn't find your body where you were supposed to be. There are four distinct markings. Four xenomorphs that dragged you here. Damn. So, uh, you're saying, yep, we got company. And, uh, also, him turning around. Seeing the Xeomorph eggs. Shit, shit, shit. Yeah. So, if you don't mind, let's leave. Uh, they're right behind me, aren't they? They, um, uh, yeah. That makes four Xenomorphs. And they are, uh, they are not looking very hospitable. He's a girl. He's armed with not only his wrist blades, but also his ceremonial dagger. Which, yeah, that's great and everything. Yeah, hooray. The only problem is, his brother just got over being impregnated by a xenomorph. At least a face hugger. Breaks in with the fact that he, uh, he just had had a damn thing punched out of him. So, yeah, he's not really at 100%. It works for Zuku, considering he already fought one. He's been marked and everything, great. But, yeah, it takes a, he took a, a lot of energy to get that thing out. So, you can imagine the claws, the slashing, the acid blood being splurred everywhere them trying not to get impregnated and they do end up winning Izuku bang at least two more kills to to his one as well as the other brother finally getting his kills but he's still looking rather Upset. Izuku, knowing exactly why, look, you got caught off guard and you got impregnated. I understand that. But you can't let that stop you from getting over it. Now, here's what we're gonna do we going to hunt down this thing and we are going to kill it you think that will renew my honor I don't know <laughs> if anything just pray that it that thing doesn't get out we have our kills so technically we don't even have to be here anymore we can just blow up this whole damn pyramid You know our yeah my wrist blades are fucked up too all we got left is these damn ceremonial blades and don't have much reach but hell beggars can't be choosers you know there is uh something else we could use just looking at the corpses of the xenomorphs they've killed Izuku just looking at his brother. You're my dear favorite. As they are equipped with Xenomorph tail wrist blades and Xenomorph shields. When he do ride back where he was first impregnated, he does notice that those humans are still there. Just wondering. Wait, you didn't notice them before? Oh no, I did. 
fact, that's a, thanks to them, I got my first Xeomorph kill. See? Just looking at the dead Xeomorph with its inner jaw stabbed into its head. You didn't kill them? No. No, I didn't. Well, you can't let them know we exist. You know, it's kind of a rule. Who's going to believe them? I... Hmm. Yeah, think about it. Who's going to believe some he crazy humans? <sighs> uh, let me talk to him. As soon as he does, he does notice something coming up on his biome helmet. And yeah, this is the plasma casters. Him realizing like, you bastards. Him actually considering killing them until he remembers, oh wait, someone here knows my mom. So he does, so he just calms down. We need our guns back. What? Those things you took that started this whole shifting pyramid bull. Oh. Oh, wait, that's. So they are. Yeah. There are weapons. We're supposed to collect them. But. <laughs> that didn't go as planned. Because you. You humans can't seem to keep your hands off of shit. Hand them over. Reluctantly, of course, they do hand over the plasma casters. Zuku mounts his. The... Okay. Here's yours. Uh, thanks, Izuku, you know, for... No problem. Wait, did you just call me Izuku? Oh, yeah, that, that's your name. So you do know my name. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh, no, don't play dumb now. Whenever we were going up, you will call me a lot. <laughs> Terrible things. One, one of them was useless. The other one was, you know, runt. I, I did. Oh, oh, wait, no, I did do that. Huh. Wow. Uh, that's right. I, I have never recalled your name to your face, have I? But in my defense, you always called me milk drinker. I did. <laughs> Every time I would headbutt you, you go you just go crying to mom. You damn right. <laughs> uh, fine. I won't call you milk drinker anymore. Yeah. Well, where are you gonna call me? Your name. Kai. Wow. Finally. Finally. You have any idea how long I've waited for you to actually call me by my name? Yeah. You know how long I've waited for you to stop calling me runt? Hmm. That's fair. Then they do hear a distinctive roar. Only thing is, like, it's him, isn't it? Yeah. Wait, now I think about it. You saw him kill two Xeomorphs, right? Yeah, he did. Okay, I killed one, this makes three. Then all the other four makes seven. If he's not fighting a Xenomorph, then he must be fighting the Abomination. Shit. 
Before we leave, the hero's like, wait, what do you mean by abomination? You see, my dumbass, hey, my brother, he got impregnated by a facehugger. This would cause a, an abomination or a predalien, as some people have called it. Really? Yeah. If anything, being impregnated by one is seen as real bad luck. So, huh. Luckily, we are able to remove it. But, you know, we, we gotta. There's a, there's a certain procedure to really remove it. Okay. Anything else? <laughs> These. A Predalian uh, has our dreadlocks, usually, and mandibles. And they are actually very dangerous. They may not be as smart as us, but they are very. They are more intelligent. Especially considering that the hive mind is integrated. Wait, what? Oh, yes. The Xenomorphs have a hive mind. No. Yeah. Kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. You're serious? Oh, oh yeah. It is actually a real pain in the ass. It's pretty much like if one of them sees you, they all know where you are. Which is why when there's hive, it is very, very imperative that you stay stealthy. But could you just be cloaked? That doesn't work. <sighs> oh. Yeah, you notice those things don't have eyes, right? <laughs> kind of defeats the purpose. They don't have eyes. <laughs> oh. Okay, so wait. He's uh, a good... Oh, she knows your name? What's her name? I shut up. Oh, my name is Melissa Shield. Okay, Melissa Shield, it is. Yeah. Really? Shield? Huh. That's an interesting last name. Either way, we gotta go. We gotta save my <laughs> dumbass older brother. You know he's not gonna thank us, right? No, he won't. What do you do see? Whoa. Ugh. Damn bird alien. Yeah, it's a big motherfucker. Izuku, realizing this is not gonna be an easy fight, starts thinking up strategies like how can we really take on something that shares even more intelligence especially considering that uh, we still gotta blow up this whole damn place and I'm just trying to find a way like we gotta get to him we gotta save him before he runs out of strength the only thing is this is when what took you so long father Who said that? As yes, this is when the Predalien turns its head and looks right at Izuku and Kai. All of them are pretty much wondering, did you just speak? What's the matter, father? Oh, oh, oh no. It it speaks and you can imagine izuku is shocked as all hell die it's like who are you calling father
Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. You are more like a mother. Uh, I'm sorry? Yeah. Yeah. I said it. Okay. It's bad enough that this thing came out of me. It's worse. Uh, hey, hey, what, what's the problem? Call me the mother. And? Would you want to fight me, Mom? You're not wrong. Yeah, I remember. The female, females can be bigger, sir. Than us. Damn, you're right. But yeah. Seriously. You can't see everything as an insult. Even though, yeah, it's meant to be an insult this time. Uh, actually, no, it, it wasn't. What? No, I really do appreciate you. Okay. Explain how you can talk. Ah, that would be thanks to the queen that was first. Explain. She actually, you know, came from a evolved human. One that had these quirks. I was just fortunate enough to be allowed such a gift. Wait, what's work oh these are the powers that some humans have been seen acquiring quite interesting actually <sighs> so that does explain the person with super strength and the mind moving ability huh actually pretty damn neat So, what, you're not going to try to kill us? Oh, no, I will kill you. It's only fair. Since, uh, you stopped me, uncle. Of course I stopped you. I want to save my brother. <sighs> yes, yes. Just a shame. Or at least it was nice talking to you before her death. Okay, where's the big Neanderthal? Oh, don't worry. He's not dead yet. Dying, no doubt. But... So, we doing this? Oh, yes, yes, we are. It's time for me to prove my superiority. Hmm. You're nothing but an abomination. And one thing for certain, you are not superior to us. Especially since you came out from this dummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, but uh, it's nice to laugh. Too bad I do have to kill you. It would have been nice to have more touching moments. As soon as they do we end up attacking, yes, they do win, but not without some difficulties. One thing Izuku did <laughs> remember they came to fighting. These Morse. Yeah, they do go off instinct. Mix that with highly intelligent Yauja or DNA mixed in with, of course, a quirk. He's a good guy only had one real option. He had to 
go for the dreadlocks. Luckily, that did work. Unluckily, that hurt like hell to get so close. They end up saving their brother. Him, of course, being mad at them for stopping him from winning. Them having a laugh, them blowing up the place. But not before Izuku does end up getting the humans out of there. And now, here's a big problem. Why didn't you kill the humans? 